Well, hi, I'm Dr. Steven Cianti, director of the Cianti Prostate Center in Sarasota, Florida. Today, I want to talk to you about focal therapy for prostate cancer. In the field of prostate cancer, focal therapy really is the hottest topic today. Focal therapy really means that the prostate is treated partially, subtotally. In other words, we'll go into an advanced diagnostic program to find the most important region of cancer within the prostate and treat only, only the clinically significant cancer region in the prostate. What does that mean? That means we're treating only the dangerous tumor and preserving the rest of the prostate gland. Why would anyone do that? The advantage to focal therapy is that preserving prostate tissue preserves function. It preserves urinary function and it preserves erectile function. In fact, focal therapy for prostate cancer has been talked about for nearly 20 years. Years ago, the technology did not exist to identify men who are good candidates for focal therapy. All we had in the early days were a finger for a rectal exam, a PSA, and a random 10 or 12 core prostate biopsy. If the cancer seemed to be on one side of the prostate, then we can simply treat just that side of the prostate. But you know, we are often wrong because some cancers escaped detection by biopsy and therefore we are oftentimes leaving significant or important cancers untreated. Today, the technology exists to accurately define where the significant cancer in the prostate really is and determine whether or not a cancer is really regionalized or localized to an area, an area that can be targeted for precise treatment. Precise treatment means less side effects. You know, the American Urologic Association is our organizing body for urologists in the United States. That's our professional organization. And the leaders of the American Urologic Association for years were very dismissive about focal therapy. But this year at the annual meeting of the American Urologic Association in New Orleans, Louisiana, the lead off lecture, the lead off presentation in what's called the plenary session was about focal therapy for prostate cancer. What that says is now it's time to really begin to offer this to our patients who are well selected and have gone through proper diagnostic evaluation. So let's talk about that. It's more complicated than just a PSA today. Obviously the PSA starts the process. The PSA is elevated over a certain level that identifies that a man is at risk for prostate cancer. At our center, we don't stop with a PSA. We order additional biomarkers. We request biomarkers such as an exosome DX test, which is a genetic test. We'll do genetic screening. We'll look for the risk of inherited prostate cancers. The most important step, however, is the multiparametric prostate MRI. Finally, there's an imaging technique in which most significant cancers can be well seen by an imaging test. That's the multi-parametric MRI. So if we go through the time, the trouble, and the expense, so to speak, of doing a prostate MRI, then it makes sense that we have to use that MRI to guide our biopsies. There's been numerous studies now over the last several years that have shown that the accuracy, the ability to identify and find a significant cancer in the prostate is tremendously aided by prostate MRI and by using that MRI to do a targeted precise biopsy. Why would anybody today have a biopsy blindly? That really makes no sense. A blind biopsy has just as much chance of finding a cancer by this hit and miss method as by missing a cancer. And so today the technique is once the PSA is elevated and biomarkers suggest risk of prostate cancer, 
A multi-parametric prostate MRI starts the process of diagnostics. Once we have an MRI done, if there's an area that's of interest, that is an area that appears to be abnormal, then using technology such as Artemis, which is an MRI fusion technology, it's a technology that takes the MRI picture and it marries it to, it merges it to the ultrasound image and allows for a biopsy to be done in a very precise and targeted manner. Now today we can do those biopsies either by a standard transrectal approach but this technology is available to use MRI guidance from a transperineal approach as well. So depending upon the location of the tumor, depending upon the size of the prostate, one approach, transrectal or transperineal, may be better than the other. At our center, both test technologies are available to our patients. Once we've gone through a proper MRI fusion and what's called mapping biopsy, we can develop a 3D map of the prostate, we can understand where within the prostate gland that worrisome or significant prostate cancer lives. Now, if that patient is fortunate enough to have that cancer in a region or an area, then they're going to be a candidate for a precision guided focal therapy approach. What that means is that using the MRI images, the MRI developed roadmap to precisely target treatment to the bad region, the significant region of cancer in that prostate gland and preserving the rest of the healthy prostate. Remember, preserving prostate tissue preserves prostate function. Today it's about finding that better balance between treating the important prostate cancer and preserving quality of life. What types of focal therapies do we have? At the Cianti Prostate Center, I've been doing focal therapy now for nearly 20 years, starting in the early 2000s with cryotherapy, proceeding with HIFU, bringing HIFU into our program in 2005. Focal laser ablation came along in 2010. And the newest tool we have is Tulsa, or transurethral ultrasound guided in bore, in MRI guided therapy. So choosing between the different tools on the menu becomes very important. Which modality, which tool is best to treat your cancer really depends upon the characteristics of the cancer, the location of the cancer within the prostate, and whether or not there are any factors in the prostate, such as calcifications, or cysts that can interfere with the transmission of energy to the target. As a focal therapy specialist and having done well over 2,000 focal therapy procedures over the years, I can offer my patients the treatment modality, the treatment tool that's most suited to their particular cancer based on the characteristics of their prostate gland. So at the Cianti Prostate Center, we're really proud of the fact that we offer our patients concierge care, personalized care, and precision guided therapy. To learn more about whether or not you're a candidate for any of our advanced diagnostic approaches or for precision guided focal therapy, please call our office or go to our website at ciantiprostatecenter.com. I will personally review any information that's sent through our team, and we pride ourselves in the fact that we respond to every single patient. Give us a call, find out if you're a candidate for this life-preserving, quality-of-life-maintaining precision approach.